My name is Virgil Goode. All right. <laughs> a candidate of the Constitution Party for the presidency of the United States. We're currently on the ballot in 17 states, and we're getting petitions to secure ballot access in uh, hopefully between 40 and 50 states. So what will you plan to do when becoming uh, pres president? We need to do four things right away. One, have a balanced budget. The debt and deficit are staggering for this country. Under President Obama, the debt has increased by $5 trillion. We will end up like Greece or a third world country if the borrowing does not stop. It would be my plan to submit a balanced budget sooner, not later, as proposed by the Democrats and Republicans. Second, for the jobs and economy, we need to take the step of reducing legal immigration. Right now, 1.2 million persons come into this country on green cards every year. Two-thirds to three-fourths of that 1.2 million take jobs that should go to U.S. citizens. It's time to place the American citizen first. When I'm elected, we are going to have an administration where citizenship means something jobs in America for American citizens. Third, I believe in term limits. If I'm elected, I will serve only one term as president. We also need term limits on the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House of Representatives. Fourth and last, we need someone in the office of president that is a grassroots person that isn't focused on raising big money from Wall Street or from Hollywood. President Obama just held a big fundraiser hosted by George Clooney that raised tens of millions of dollars. On the Republican side, you have candidate Mitt Romney that is appealing to uh, many of the Wall Street friends of his, and that's where his big money is coming from. My donations are limited to individuals at a sum of $2 to 200 if you would like to make a contribution to Virgil Good for President between $2 and $200, we would certainly appreciate it. You can visit my website, goodforpresident2012.com. Uh, what is your view on Agenda 21? I'm opposed to Agenda 21. Uh, this is really a scheme, if you will, that uh, the UN and globalists want to impose more regulations on the uh, uh, United States citizens and the businesses and farms in this country, and I'm opposed to it. Uh, what will you do in regards to uh, the National Defense Authorization Act uh, for fiscal year 2012 and 2013? Parts of that act, in my view, do not comport with the United States Constitution. Uh, I would have vetoed the measure and gotten the uh, unconstitutional provisions corrected. Uh, what is your view on illegal immigration? Uh, illegal immigration must be totally stopped. We are a magnet to attract persons from other countries that want to come to this country and get benefits. For example, uh, the children of illegal aliens born in the United States get automatic birthright citizenship. They then get Medicaid, they get food stamps, they get public assistance. We need to change automatic birthright citizenship uh, so that the children of illegals immediately don't step into the uh, uh, federal trough and get the money that hard-earned taxpayers have paid into the federal treasury. What is your view on uh, globalism, a world government? The United States should always place its constitution first. We should not be subject to uh, a globalism philosophy. I believe in the sovereignty of the United States and running on the Constitution Party ticket with Jim Clymer of Pennsylvania, we believe that the Constitution is the supreme document not uh, the UN Charter or any globalist treaty or uh, agreement. So that means that you're against the plan for a North American Union? 
Absolutely. In the U.S. House of Representatives, I was the chief sponsor of legislation aimed at blocking the North American Union. So, uh, have you heard of the so-called Bilderberg Group that meets uh, every four years in North America? I don't know where they meet. I have heard of them. Again, though, I believe in the sovereignty of the United States and not a march towards uh, a globalism where the United States uh, has its sovereignty uh, subsumed into some uh, international group or entity. Uh, it's time to place, as I said at the beginning, the United States citizen first. I'm for citizenship first, and I believe citizenship matters, and we need to focus on uh, our country and not be spending so much on foreign aid. So, uh, you will literally, I mean, as president, you would literally go against the so-called plan for a new world order. Absolutely. Uh, the new world order would place uh, U.S. citizens under the jurisdiction of a world court. It would place the uh, persons in the Army and the Navy and the uh, Marines uh, in all our branches of service uh, under their jurisdiction ultimately. And I believe, as I said before, in the sovereignty of the United States first, so uh, uh, I'm not for the New World Order. All right, I've got a very good last question that all just right. came to mind. Uh, what do you think about the TSA groping people? Well, I think that needs to be. Uh, reshaped and redone and uh, I'm, uh, I, I think that's uncalled for. I want us to be safe but there are ways that that can be handled uh, outside of, of uh, groping persons and uh, they, uh, a lot of other countries don't do that. All right, this is the interview with uh, Brian D. Hill, reporter for USWGO, and we are Change North Carolina, interviewing uh, your name? Virgil Goode uh, from Virginia, and we're working to get signatures in North Carolina, Virginia, and all over the country, and I would appreciate your vote in 2012 for president. Thank you. It was a pleasure doing the interview. All right.